everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yomi Round of Yomi Crochetology and I have here our future tutorial that needs a bra pads. So we have this separate tutorial how to attach a bra pads to our bandeau top. These are the things that you will need for this tutorial. So let's get started. So I have here the top or a bandeau top that we will use for this project, okay? So I already have here one of the cup attached to the top itself. And as you can see, I use a pin to secure my head so it will not move around. Also, we will use the same yarn that we use for our top. So I have here a sample how to put a bra pads that it's not wonky. So all you have to do is fit the top and then you have to wear an undergarment or bra and fit your top and then try to find the pointy part of your bra. That will guide us where to put our bra pads. So that's how I figured out where to put my bra pads so it's not wonky or awkward. So I have here my bra pads and it's a circular kind of bra pads and it is ready to be attached to our crochet garments. Stitch marker in the middle as the guide. We will attach this pointy part of the bra pads into the stitch marker and make sure you will not go past the border of your crochet garments. Okay, just give a little bit of space at the top so it's not gonna show outside of your garments. And then once you're ready and happy with your bra pads, you can attach it to the garments or crochet garments using a pin. So this is what it looks like now with the bra pads and then it's ready for us to attach it. But before anything else, I have here this tiny mark, um, I measure 2cm. I use that kind of technique as a distance or how far my stitches from each other. I use that as a guide as to how far each stitches from each other. Here my needle and my yarn that I use for the crochet garments. And we will start sewing the bra pads to the crochet garments. So first is insert your needle and your yarn into whatever part you feel like starting your project. And that knot there, make sure it's hidden behind the pads, okay? And then just start stitching using a back stitch. So from here going to my left, okay, the end part of my nails all the way to that mark there, that's where I will insert again my needle, okay? Again, this is used to us how far our stitches from each other. And then wrap your yarn or thread around the needle or at the top of the needle and pull that needle. So that's what it looks like, your back stitch. And again, move to the left. And then again, from the tip of your nail all the way to your marker, that's where you will insert your needle for the next stitch. And make sure you get a tiny bit of your crochet garments. and wrap your yarn at the top of your needle and pull that needle. And then a little bit pull that yarn to tighten your stitches. And slowly work your way around the bra pads using the marker in your thumb and then continue doing that until you stitch the entire circumference of your bra pads.
So I'm pretty much at the end of my stitches. So I have few space here in the bra pad that's left. So just continue the back stitch until you reach the first stitch that you made. A last stitch and I will insert my needle back and forth into that last stitch to secure my stitches. Once it's done, you can snip off the yarn and if you are comfortable in using a fabric glue, you can put a little bit of that glue on the tip but cut off yarn and secure it with the glue. If you are not used using a fabric glue, you can always skip these steps. So there you have it. We are done attaching our bra pads. It's very neat. I hope this tutorial is very informative and useful for you. So stay tuned for our future tutorials since this one is required for those other tutorials. So if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying with me today and I hope to see you again sometime next week. Goodbye! One eye.